The hydroxyl radical, a eurocent HO, is the neutral form of the hydroxide ion. Hydroxyl radicals are highly reactive and consequently short-lived. However, they form an important part of radical chemistry. Most notably hydroxyl radicals are produced from the decomposition of hydroperoxides or, in atmospheric chemistry, by the reaction of excited atomic oxygen with water. It is also an important radical formed in radiation chemistry, since it leads to the formation of hydrogen peroxide and oxygen, which can enhance corrosion and SCC in coolant systems subjected to radioactive environments. Hydroxyl radicals are also produced during UV light dissociation of H2O2 and likely in Fenton chemistry, where trace amounts of reduced transition metals catalyze peroxide-mediated oxidations of organic compounds. In organic synthesis hydroxyl radicals are most commonly generated by photolysis of 1-hydroxy-2, 1-hour, pyridinethane. The hydroxyl radical is often referred to as the detergent of the troposphere because it reacts with many pollutants, often acting as the first step to their removal. It also has an important role in eliminating some greenhouse gases like methane and ozone. The rate of reaction with the hydroxyl radical often determines how long many pollutants last in the atmosphere, if they do not undergo photolysis or are rained out. For instance methane, which reacts relatively slowly with hydroxyl radical, has an average lifetime of greater than 5 years and many CFCs have lifetimes of 50 plus years. Pollutants, such as larger hydrocarbons, can have very short average lifetimes of less than a few hours. The first reaction with many volatile organic compounds is the removal of a hydrogen atom, forming water and an alkyl radical. A eurocent HO plus or HH2O plus Ra eurocent, the alkyl radical will typically react rapidly with oxygen forming a pyroxy radical. Ra eurocent plus O2 or O2, the fate of this radical in the troposphere is dependent on factors such as the amount of sunlight pollution in the atmosphere and the nature of the orchal radical that formed it. Biological significance, hydroxyl radicals can occasionally be produced as a byproduct of immune action. Macrophages and microglia most frequently generate this compound when exposed to very specific pathogens, such as certain bacteria. The destructive action of hydroxyl radicals has been implicated in several neurological autoimmune diseases such as hand when immune cells become overactivated and toxic to neighboring healthy cells. The hydroxyl radical can damage virtually all types of macromolecules, carbohydrates, nucleic acids, lipids and amino acids. PMID 7776173 the hydroxyl radical has a very short in vivo half-life of approximately 10 in 9 seconds and a high reactivity. This makes it a very dangerous compound to the organism. Unlike superoxide, which can be detoxified by superoxide dismutase, the hydroxyl radical cannot be eliminated by an enzymatic reaction. Mechanisms for scavenging peroxyl radicals for the protection of cellular structures includes endogenous antioxidants such as melatonin and glutathione, and dietary antioxidants such as mannitol and vitamin E. Importance in the Earth atmosphere, the hydroxyl eurocent HO radicals is one of the main chemical species controlling the oxidizing capacity of the global Earth atmosphere. This oxidizing reactive species has a major impact on the concentrations and distribution of greenhouse gases and pollutants in the Earth atmosphere. It is the most widespread oxidizer in the troposphere, the lowest part of the atmosphere. Understanding a eurocent HO variability is important to evaluating human impacts on the atmosphere and climate. The A eurocent HO species has a lifetime in the Earth atmosphere of less than one second. Understanding the role of a eurocent HO in the oxidation process of methane present in the atmosphere to first carbon monoxide and then carbon dioxide is important for assessing the residence time of this greenhouse gas, the overall carbon budget of the troposphere, and its influence on the process of global warming. The lifetime of a eurocent HO radicals in the Earth atmosphere is very short. Therefore a eurocent HO concentrations in the air are very low and very sensitive techniques are required for its direct detection. Global average hydroxyl radical concentrations have been measured indirectly by analyzing methyl chloroform present in the air. 
the results obtained by Montska al. shows that the interannual variability in a euro cent HO estimated from CH3 CCL3 measurements is small, indicating that global a euro cent HO is generally well buffered against perturbations. This small variability is consistent with measurements of methane and other trace gases primarily oxidized by a euro cent HO, as well as global photochemical model calculations. In 2014, researchers reported their discovery of a hole, or absence of hydroxyl throughout the entire depth of the troposphere across a large region of the tropical West Pacific. They suggested that this hole is permitting large quantities of ozone-degrading chemicals to reach the stratosphere, and that this may be significantly reinforcing ozone depletion in the polar regions with potential consequences for the climate of the Earth. Astronomical Importance First detection of interstellar a Euro cent HO, the first experimental evidence for the presence of 18 ACM absorption lines of the hydroxyl radical in the radio absorption spectrum of Cassiopeia A was obtained by Wien Ray Bayel. Based on observations made during the period October 15 Euro 29, 1963. Important subsequent reports of a Euro cent HO astronomical detections, energy levels, a euro cent HO is a diatomic molecule. The electronic angular momentum along the molecular axis is plus 1 or minus 1, and the electronic spin angular momentum s equals 1 half. Because of the orbit spin coupling, the spin angular momentum can be oriented in parallel or anti-parallel directions to the orbital angular momentum, producing the splitting into i1 half and i3 half states. The 2 i 3 halves ground state of a euro cent HO is split by lambda doubling interaction. Hyperfine interaction with the unpaired spin of the proton further splits the levels. Chemistry of the molecule a euro cent HO, in order to study gas phase interstellar chemistry, it is convenient to distinguish two types of interstellar clouds, diffuse clouds, with T equals 30 minus 100 K, and N equals 10 a euro 1000 a comma 3 and dense clouds with T equals 10 minus 30 K and density N equals 104 minus 103 Akma 3. Ion chemical roots in both dense and diffuse clouds have been established for some works. A Euro cent HO production pathways, the A Euro cent HO radical is linked with the production of H2O in molecular clouds. Studies of a Euro cent HO distribution in torus molecular cloud 1 suggest that in dense gas, a Euro cent HO is mainly formed by dissociative recombination of H3O+. Dissociative recombination is the reaction in which a molecular ion recombines with an electron and dissociates into neutral fragments. Important formation mechanisms for a Euro cent HO are, H3O plus plus AAA Euro cent HO plus H2 dissociative recombination, H3O plus plus AAA Euro cent HO plus a Euro cent H plus a Euro cent H dissociative recombination, HCO2 plus plus AAA Euro cent HO plus company dissociative recombination, a Euro cent O plus HCO AA Euro cent HO plus company neutral neutral, HA plus H3O plus AA Euro cent HO plus H2 plus a Euro cent H ion molecular ion neutralization. A Euro cent HO destruction pathways, experimental data on association reactions of a Euro cent H and a Euro cent HO suggest that radiative association involving atomic and diatomic neutral radicals may be considered as an effective mechanism for the production of small neutral molecules in the interstellar clouds. The formation of O2 occurs in the gas phase via the neutral exchange reaction between a Euro cent O and a Euro cent HO which is also the main sink for a Euro cent HO in dense regions. We can see that atomic oxygen takes part both in the production and destruction of a Euro cent HO, so the abundance of a Euro cent HO depends mainly on the H3 plus abundance. Then, important chemical pathways leading from a Euro cent HO radicals are, a Euro cent HO plus a Euro cent O2 plus a Euro cent H neutral neutral, a Euro cent HO plus C plus a CO plus plus a Euro cent H ion neutral, a Euro cent HO plus a Euro cent NNO plus a Euro cent H neutral neutral, a Euro cent HO plus C a CO plus a Euro cent H neutral neutral, 
a euro cent H O plus a euro cent H H two O plus photon neutral neutral rate constants, and relative rates for important formation and destruction mechanisms. Rate constants can be derived from the data set published in a website. Rate constants of the form K T equals alpha T T C M three Z R one. The following table has the rate constants calculated for a typical temperature in a dense cloud T equals 10 a K. Formation rates RICS can be obtained using the rate constants K, T, and the abundances of the reactant species C and D, RICS equals K, T, X, C, D, where, Y, represents the abundance of the species Y. In this approach, Abundances were taken from the UMIS database for Astrochemistry 2006, and the values are relatives to the H2 density. Following table shows the ratio rix one in order to get a view of the most important reactions. The results suggest that reaction is the most prominent reaction in dense clouds. It is in concordance with HUD UAL. 2000. Next table shows the results by doing the same procedure for destruction reaction. Results shows that 1A reaction is the main sink for HO in dense clouds. Importance of interstellar Eurocent HO observations Discoveries of the microwave spectra of a considerable number of molecules prove the existence of rather complex molecules in the interstellar clouds, and provides the possibility to study dense clouds, which are obscured by the dust they contain. The A Eurocent HO molecule has been observed in the interstellar medium since 1963 through its 18 cm transitions. In the subsequent years a Eurocent HO was observed by its rotational transitions at far infrared wavelengths, mainly in the Orion region. Because each rotational level of a Eurocent HO is split in by lambda doubling, astronomers can observe a wide variety of energy states from the ground state. A Eurocent HO is a tracer of shock conditions, very high densities are required to thermalize the rotational transitions of a Eurocent HO, so it is difficult to detect far infrared emission lines from a quiescent molecular cloud. Even at H2 densities of 106 Kma3, dust must be optically thick at infrared wavelengths. But the passage of a shock wave through a molecular cloud is precisely the process which can bring the molecular gas out of equilibrium with the dust, making observations of far infrared emission lines possible. A moderately fast shock may produce a transient rays in the A Eurocent HO abundance relative to hydrogen. So, it is possible that far infrared emission lines of a Eurocent HO can be a good diagnostic of shock conditions. In diffuse clouds, Diffuse clouds are of astronomical interest because they play a primary role in the evolution and thermodynamics of ISM. Observation of the abundant atomic hydrogen in 21 ACM has shown good signal-to-noise ratio in both emission and absorption. Nevertheless, HI observations have a fundamental difficulty when are directed to low-mass regions of the hydrogen nucleus, as the center part of a diffuse cloud. Thermal width of hydrogen lines are the same order as the internal velocities structures of interest, so clouds components of various temperatures and central velocities are indistinguishable in the spectrum. Molecular lines observations in principle doesn't suffer of these problems. Unlike HI, molecules generally have excitation temperature text kin, so that emission is very weak even from abundant species. CO and a Eurocent HO are the most easily studied candidates molecules. CO has transitions in a region of the spectrum where there is not strong background continuum sources, but a Eurocent HO has the 18 cm emission, lying convenient for absorption observations. Observation studies provide the most sensitive means of detections of molecules with subthermal excitation, and can give the opacity of the spectral line which is a central issue to model the molecular region. Studies based in the kinematic comparison of a Eurocent HO and HI absorption lines from diffuse clouds are useful in determining their physical conditions, especially because heavier elements provide higher velocity resolution. A Eurocent HO masers, a Eurocent HO masers, a type of astrophysical maser, were the first masers to be discovered in space and have been observed in more environments than any other type of maser. In the Milky Way, a Eurocent HO masers are found in stellar masers, interstellar masers, 
or in the interface between supernova remnants and molecular material. Interstellar HO mazes are often observed from molecular material surrounding ultra-compact H2 regions. But there are mazes associated with very young stars that have yet to create UCH2 regions. This class of a Eurocent HO mazes appears to form near the edges of very dense material, place where H2O mazes form, and where total densities drop rapidly and UV radiation form young stars can dissociate the H2O molecules. So, observations of a Eurocent HO mazes in these regions can be an important way to probe the distribution of the important H2O molecule in interstellar shocks at high spatial resolutions. Application in water purification, hydroxyl radicals play a key role in the oxidative destruction of organic pollutant using a series of methodologies collectively known as advanced oxidation processes. The destruction of pollutants in AOPs is based on the non-selective reaction of hydroxyl radicals on organic compounds. It is highly effective against a series of pollutants including pesticides, pharmaceutical compounds, dyes etc. See also, hydroxyl ion absorption, hydrogen darkening, references. External links, hydroxyl found in atmosphere of Venus. University lecture notes from the University of Colorado on atmospheric chemistry.